dollars. One hundred thousand. Call QP and Abraham right now. Now at 6, brutally cold air here in southeast Wisconsin. Live look in Milwaukee right now, 18 degrees below zero air temperature. And then in Oconomowoc, this is a live picture right now. You can see huh, lots of folks on the roads this morning in this frigid weather. Minus 23, the actual temperature in Oconomowoc. Right now, from Milwaukee, this is today's TMJ4, live at daybreak. It's 6 in the morning. Welcome to Live at Daybreak on today's TMJ4. I'm Vince Petrano. And I'm Susan Kim. Thanks so much for waking up with us on what could be historic cold that we're seeing today. Let's get over to meteorologist Brian Nisnanski. And this uh, weather is panning out exactly the way you expected it to, Brian. I mean, this is dangerous cold. If you're not in the minus 20s yet, you will be very shortly. Very interesting to see those cars moving already in Oconomowoc. People getting going this morning with a lot of closures out there still. If you got your car started, that's step number one on a day like today. Okay, here's a look at Milwaukee County temperatures. Oak Creek at minus 20 now. We are hanging on to deer life now at 19 degrees below zero in Milwaukee. Again, very soon, officially at Mitchell International, we're going to dip down to minus 20. Minus 20 in West Dallas and Wauwatosa. Here's a look at the readings across southeast Wisconsin. Beaver Dam now at minus 25. We're starting to get close to, I think we're going to drop, you know, at least a few more degrees. Maybe we get a minus 30 here northwest of Milwaukee this morning. Actual temperature. All right, wind chills this morning uh, at 52 below now in Waukesha, 51 degrees below zero in Whitewater. I think the winds ramp up a little bit shortly after sunrise, and that's when the wind chills are probably going to bottom out for us here in southeastern Wisconsin. In fact, let's take a look uh, here again. Wind chills in the minus 50s below zero, and eventually into the minus 40s below zero as we head into tonight. Thought I had a couple pause points there. We'll redo that. In a second, so you can see them a little bit closer. Uh, wind chills through the day today by 8 o'clock, minus 55 degrees below zero here in Milwaukee. That is super dangerous. That's probably the coldest of the cold this morning, 8, 9 o'clock. By noon, up to 16 below zero, yippee. And by 4 o'clock, 13 below zero. That will be our high today, Elise. All right, thanks, Brian. Let's go ahead and take a look at a metro area travel map this morning. You can see that for the most part, it is green and in the clear. A couple uh, stalled incidents that are popping up on this map, or stalled acts, stalled vehicles uh, that are popping up on this map, but no major incidents to tell you about right now. Here is a look at travel times. Hale to Mitchell, five minutes. Marquette to seven miles, 16 minutes. Mitchell to Hale, five minutes. It's 6.02 at the Lyme desk. Many daycares announcing this morning they are closed. The latest daycare closings to come in, Nesting Place Daycare Center and Silver Maple Daycare in West Bend, as well as God Can, God Can Children's Academy. Now, this morning, hundreds of daycares and schools are also not operating. Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, and Brown Deer made the call yesterday. You can find a full list at the bottom of your screen and on our website. That's at tmj 4 Com. New this morning, an 86-year-old man is in critical condition following a house fire in the town of Lisbon. The man was found in a bedroom last night. He was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. A deputy was also treated and released. No word on what sparked this fire. Also an overnight fire in Franklin. Firefighters there battled the blaze and frigid conditions as well. This is on 116th Street. The road was blocked for about a mile in each direction. Nobody was hurt. Well, if you do have to go outside today, there will not be a lot of people joining you. Our Sean Gallagher is live in the today's TMJ4 Storm Chaser right now, checking conditions out in this brutal cold. And are the roads more quiet now with so many closures today, Sean? Yeah, Susan and Vince, the roads have been pretty quiet. We're now on 32 headed north, uh, just past Oak Creek right now. Uh, compared to the freeway, a lot less traffic. There are a few cars out here, but I will say uh, we have broken the negative 20 threshold. It's now below 21 here in Oak Creek, according to the car. But here's a vehicle that you'll see out here right now that looks like somebody that's working today. The Aramark van trying to get some food to people today but very few cars that we've seen out so far when we were in Racine uh, my photographer Dave and I saw a guy that probably ran out to warm out up his car and then quickly ran back inside he was only wearing a hoodie which that's a mistake you definitely need something more than that today if you are going to go out and make sure it is for a limited amount of time uh, like we've been saying all morning frostbite you know, on exposed skin can take place in five minutes or less and your little guys the four-legged friends that we have it could happen to them as well so make sure you're in and out quickly now just to give you an idea of how cold it is I've been looking up a couple of numbers antifreeze 